Sweeties. Today I am doing box opening of these two boxes from a very lovely lady. And um, she sent me this box first. This box has been here for about two weeks and she does understand um, what the situation has been in at the moment with me. So um, inside are new items so she messaged me and said she's sorting out her stuff for her reborn she has some new in box items would I like them because she knows that I buy the littles um Christmas presents and um I was like yes please and can I please um and then this one came this week can I please um make a donation to charity she wouldn't accept any money from me um can you please make a donation to charity? Can I please make a donation to charity in your name? And she was, no, these are, I'm gifting these to you. And so just please accept them as a gift. And so thank you very much. I do accept them as a gift, Anne. Um, so I'm videoing this while the littles, the teeny littles are asleep and the bigger ones are either at school or nursery because if, if it is the case that I want to keep these items in this box back for Christmas, then um, I don't want them knowing what they are, do I? This one here, I know what's in this one, and I will wait until Emma Jane comes home so she can open that one with Mummy. And, um, yeah, let's get to opening some boxes then. Isn't it exciting? We're so lucky. Thank you so, so much for thinking of us. So I'm just trying to prop you up there. I've actually got two more boxes of Happy Mail um, to open. And I can't, I haven't managed to thank the people for these two boxes because I don't know who sent them. <laughs> I did get one person sent, I think two people or maybe one person sent me a message saying they wanted to send us a it. Can they have the address? And I was like, yeah, of course. But you actually never know, do you, until they... Until until, until it, well, it comes. And then two boxes came at the same time. There's also here in the UK been a postal strike. So if you're waiting for me to open some mail from you, please know that I do have two other boxes here. And I will get to them. Um, I have two more videos on my phone that I want to, that I need uploading. But I will upload, try and upload this one tonight. I just can't, you know, it's so very generous. Like, even just packing up boxes is, um, even just packing up boxes is just hard in itself for some people, you know? You know that I have chronic fatigue and fibro, and I just um, get really tired as well. Oh my goodness! Look at this. guys so on one side you've got the alphabet alpha alphabet on one side you've got the alphabet and numbers I'm not gonna open it it is sealed oh I might be able to get out of the box actually and then on the other side it's got a drawing board oh and I'm definitely gonna put this back for Christmas not sure who though. Wow, look at that. That is so cute. And I know you said no donation to charity, but I am going to give a donation to our, our local food bank from you. I know that you said no, no charity, but I am going to go to my food bank. I'm going to go shopping, get some stuff from the food bank. So the board that goes in there is a white board and a black board, the other side. And then it also has lots of, I think they're magnetic, letters, uh, numbers. Oh, letters. I think they're magnetic. It's got chalk in there. It's got um, um, a dry board eraser, a dry board pen. Oh, and I'm so glad that I didn't let open this one out of the kids. And then you've got the counting frame. So 
so when I do um, Christmas, I like to get the kids all something specific. Oh my goodness, I can see what else is in here. I like to get something s s specific for my little loves. And um, I'll put the box there. I'll stand it up on the box. Um, or a th and a few things just for the nursery. So if you've is that someone coming past my door? Yeah, hang on a moment. Another bit of happy mail. I think this might be just for mummy. I know who this is from. Thank you very much. And also, uh, this company, I'm hoping, will be able to sort me out of a logo for Caroline Reborn Night. And... Um, and I'm also going to do a website. I've been thinking about it like for like years. I'd love to do my own website and you know just put my babies and things on like that. And um, and this is a picture that I've purchased from Nice Things by Helena. Um, there are two pictures down in Hillside, which is my she shed if you don't know. And uh, there are two pictures down in Hillside that I've also purchased off of her before. But this one is very going to be very special and I think I'll probably feel quite emotional considering what's just been going on anyway as I was saying thank you very very much Anne let's pop those two things there um wow wow and now I can see the other oh, goodness kids are going to have a way over time and these are going to go back for Christmas and they're going to be from Auntie Anne Flick loves these. Felicity loves these. She'll probably tell me she's not allowed. I'm not allowed to write Auntie Anne on them when I wrap them up. So I'll just say they're from Santa. Shall I? I'll just say they're from Santa. Extra things from Santa. <laughs> there he is. All boxed. Flick loves these. Things. I bet you've seen she's got one that she has on the little um, the little feeding chair that I put on there for her. She loves, loves, loves. And I've actually already bought her Christmas present from me. And it is a um, unicorn with the, you know, they're like the round tower of hoops that you build up. You take all the rings off and then you build them all up. Yeah, I've worn those. That is so cute. So they do it in elephant the elephant looks neat sheena would probably like the elephant um a horse i think it might be two horses i'm not quite sure what that one's meant to be maybe a giraffe i'm not sure but um there i'm sure that um you all probably think a little bit are a little bit let me get that mount on the box that a little bit like um, Anne and I. Do any of you buy stuff that's new and you don't end up using it? I bought something last year that I thought would be great and it's still in the box. I still haven't opened it. Well, it's not a box. Uh, it is a box, but it's flat, completely flat packed. And I thought that would be good. And I still haven't got that out yet. Tell us we're not the only ones. <laughs> And I thought it would only be two things, Aaron. I saw two things, and now I'm seeing a third thing. Wow. It's, oh, it's got a xylophone on this one. Oh, another counting, look. It's another counter. Sorry, Mr. Cow, you have to move over there. With your ring in your nose, we love cows around here. So here we go. It's the giraffes with a xylophone and beads. And counting again, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, look at it. This is brilliant because I don't know if any of you remember, I bought from a charity shop a um, xylophone, but Peter Rabbit one. And it didn't have any beaters with it 
And now we've got some beaters so I, so I can use that one as well. Oh, look how cute is that. So we've got the counting beads. And we have got, yeah, counting beads all the way around. But look, oh, Timothy's gonna love it. Timothy's gonna love this. Look at the xylophone. Oh, you can take it out. Oh, that is good. You can take that out. Just like the boards on there, you can take that out. Just call me Elton John. <laughs> I think Mama has just as much fun with the toys as everybody else. And this is just... I'll put the beaters back so I don't lose them. And just... What can I say? What can I say? Just thank you so... Just thank you so, so much, Anne. You just... I want to bring a cow up here. I'm going to have to stamp cow on something else. Coming here with the box. Oh. Just, you know what? Sometimes thank you just doesn't sound enough. And I just don't know what else to say. It really doesn't sound enough, does it? Thank you. Timothy will absolutely love this beater. I'm sure Emma Jane will absolutely love the board, or even Frankie. Frankie's into playing schools at the moment. Um, yeah, and can you imagine that? Hmm. <laughs> Toby might actually like that, but I do, Toby might like this. But then I'm thinking Timothy's going to get first in line for that. Timothy's going to be, oh, excuse me, I want to play music. <laughs> and Felicity... She will just love the beads. I mean, it can, oh, it's got like a little pull on. Ah, ah, look, you can pull it along as well. There, that red bead is on a, it's on a little daddy pull on. Look at that. So they don't strangle themselves. <laughs> I don't think you've seen um, the video yet of Flip playing on the floor. I got the mat out and everything with her for her in here in the week. And um, she was just lying on the floor, and it was so nice when I was sorry when I was watching like the things about Queen Elizabeth, and it's been very very sad. And then it's really it's having strange emotions because you're really sad that Queen Elizabeth has passed passed on, but you're also really happy that you've got a new king and King Charles. So it's really difficult emotions to manage, I think, for a lot of people. And I'm not very good at regulating my emotions. Didn't learn that at all as a kid. <laughs> and um, I just learned to keep quiet. And then as soon as I hit teenage years, that was it. She was not keeping quiet anymore. Uh-uh. And she's still in me. So she doesn't keep quiet very, very, very often. But Anne, thank you so much. Oh, my God. It's September. Christmas isn't very far away. Oh, yeah, Timothy's definitely going to go for that. Actually, Toby might like the drawing as well, but I do think that Frankie will take over and start with her Let's Play Schools. I mean, she's at school all day. You'd think that she'd be fed up with playing schools, but she now she's back to school. She's back to loving, loving um, playing schools when she gets home. And certainly Timothy's not, not keen on being bossed around. Toby just... Basically, he's so laid back, he just does what, whatever he's told by all of them. Both girls boss him around. Um, so there we go. And I'm going to open the other box when, Frank, um, when Emma Jane gets back from nursery. Thank you so, so much, Anne. Ah, stay tuned for the next box. It's so kind of you. Thank you so much, Anne. address on this one so I do know what's in here I don't know what it's like but I do know what's in here you're gonna like what's in here sweetheart look how it's hard to wrap up isn't it thank you so so much Anne. Oh, gee, I just wasn't expecting 
Yes, and from the other one that I did earlier, I found the card. This card was in the bottom. It's a cute card. All to me. And some little butterflies. Yay! And one is, one's tired because one's been to nursery. Want to see? You're going to really love it. I think you are. No, I opened, um, yes I did. I opened some um, Ashton Drake dolls from Anne um, a few weeks ago. And then in a Tidy Up Tuesday video, I said that I wanted to go and have a look at a crib. Now I'm still gonna go down and video the Willows and Wetland Center. Um, so I'm still gonna video that. But I don't think I have to go looking for a crib anymore. And so Anne then messaged me and said, I have a crib, Caroline. Do you want a crib? And I'm like, no, you're giving me so much already. <laughs> well, yes, but you know. Oh, big thank you for your wonderful fun pack. Do you want to see? Fun packed and happy videos. You bring the sun out on a dull day and keep many of us smiling. That's another lovely card. Like, I just even appreciate all of the effort that even goes into packing. So these two say packing. So they're parts of packing. Oh, oh my goodness, this wasn't meant to come. What is this? This was not meant to come. And look at this. Wow. Got another. Do I get it? Here's the crib. <gasps> Yes, that's to put those two babies that Anne gave us in. You want to put that one in there. What I want to do, Anne, is look for some Peter Rabbit bedding to go in it. Oh, that's so cute. The baby fits in there. Yes, yeah, she does fit in there, doesn't she? You're going to rock it. And it's got rockers on the bottom. Oh, you did send me a few photos, didn't you? Yes. Yes, you said one end was a bit broke but that's okay that's okay we can glue that down so this is what did you say Anne this is 60 years old oh my goodness did you hear that that is six that's a long old one dinosaur yes Anne you're a dinosaur <laughs> so as old as a dinosaur well Timothy will think that won't he hold on to your dolly tightly hold on to her tight and then you won't be dropping you don't want to hold should we have let you have a nap first before we opened it? Hey, should we? So thank you very much for that, Anne. Look, got some bricks. We also got some bricks. I've just done with opening a load of new stuff, brand new. Pull along bricks. Oh, Toby would like that, won't he? Toby would be able to build stuff for his for his cars because he likes trucks, doesn't he, Toby? Toby loves trucks. Oh my goodness. Very environmentally friendly. Oh. Wooden toys. So should we see what's in here? Oh, look at this, a Peter Rabbit bag. What is this? This is a Peter Rabbit book. Look. Want to have a look at it with me? It's, so it's either a notepad or I could use this for down in hillside when I'm doing like um, layouts. Like um, I've just done postcards, haven't I, in ATC artist trading cards. Oh, this would be good because I've got some Peter Rabbit stamps so I can make a book out of like their about postcard size. So I can take them down to hillside and... What do you call it? A collage, something like that, that you can make. Oh, that's brilliant! And and because they the pages are um, like that, 
it doesn't matter how much you pad out the page because you'll still be able to um, shut it. That is really, that is really sweet. Yeah, thank you so much. <clears throat> it's got chick, 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 chicks on it. <sighs> you didn't need to do this. Oh, oh look, some booties, not to free bump. Ah, oh yeah, and he's got a pair of these. Well, we've got some bigger ones anyway. So now we've got little ones too. And look at these little sockies. Little Peter Rabbit Flopsy Bunny sockies. What size are they? Newborn. Oh, that's got a Flopsy on. These are pink with Flopsy. And these are white with Flopsy. I'll show you them again in a minute because I want to see what this is. Oh, a little top. What size is this? It's like a, um, like a nice soft Peter Rabbit top, size 12 months. I think it'll be too tight for you, so it'll probably fit Annabelle. Look at that. It's got um, Jemima puddle duck on it. And it is, it's lovely cotton. And it is genuine Peter Rabbit from the Peter Rabbit. Is it from Peter Rabbit store? It doesn't say what store it's from. It's beautiful cotton. Look at that cotton. Absolutely beautiful. And your mama puddle duck on the front. She used to be my favourite, and now Mummy likes Tinky Winky. Doesn't she? Tinky, tinky Winky. Dipsy la la po, mummy got that wrong, did she? I know, mummy's so silly. <laughs> mummy is very, very silly, and you're very, very tired, aren't you? Okay. Okay. These little booties are so cute. Look, on, let me show you a bit closer. <laughs> and look at the bottoms. Oh, little footprints. They're from MS. And finds joy in her reborns as well, don't you, Anne? I think those are all for all of us as an aspect of the therapy side of having the reborns. So here are the little socks. <laughs> You're not amused. You're not amused. Okay. Well, what I want to do for this crib is get some Peter Rabbit bedding made up because my Peter Rabbit Ashton Drake that you sent me, Anne, is going to go in here and then mum has to find a space to keep, keep her. Now, it may well be that I keep her down in the hillside. Yeah, I'm not sure. You want to go to sleep, do you? Okay. Okay. Okay, you can go to sleep. You can go to sleep. You wanna go and get your bed? You wanna? Yeah, I'll come and tuck you in in a sec. Go on then. Off you go. That's it. Good girl. So, um, yeah, I do want to make some Peter Rabbit bedding for this one. 60 years old. Wow. So at the Willows and Wetlands Centre, you see stuff like this made. And it is still made down there today. And um, baskets and all of that are made for Harrods, for all sorts of things. So I definitely will do. I've done a video, I think, down there before. But I will definitely do another one. Thank you for the extras, Anne. And now I'm, you know, I did say earlier on in the video that I'm going to um, go and get a food bank shop. So I will do that this weekend. I'm filming this on Friday the 16th, I think it is today. Um, so I will do, when I do a food shop, which probably won't be until Tuesday now. So um, anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Thank you so much, Anne, for all of this. This is just amazing. To anybody who sends us anything, you know, we are so, so fortunate to know you, to have you in our corner. 
Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video, everybody. Bye.